Brethren in Christ, Laudato Jesus Christus in Sequila. This is Timothy Flanders with the meaning of Catholic. Jesus is King. Stay tuned for Advent, which is coming very soon. This Sunday, make Advent penitential again. Please consider taking on some form of peasants for the sake of our own sins, but also for the sins of our brethren, sins of the hierarchy, sins of the Pope. When we do penance, God will hear us. If you want this church crisis to be averted, the wrath of God to be averted, we must do penance. As our Lord said, unless you do penance, you will likewise perish. As we enter into Advent, we consider, we remember the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and also at the end of time. This is when we remember the four last things. So it's a great time to do penance. The season of Advent is upon us. So we are announcing the res resuming of the series that we began. We've got three parts under our belt so far, part one, two, and three. Uh, I think this will probably turn out to be about a 10 part series is my guess. Um, but this is, we're trying to raise money to expand meaning of Catholic specifically. I want to hire and, uh, hire some more people, pay some more people to continue to contribute to meaning of Catholic, both in content and in our expanding, uh, guild structure that we're building, um, basically more money to be able to, hire more people instead of just volunteers. Um, so meaning of Catholic is about uniting Catholics against the enemies of Holy church. So we want to add people to this apostolate online who are particular people who can add another element to that back and forth, this rivalry of the rival schools of Christendom. So that is the hope God willing. Um, if you can support us, you get access to this series, Jews, Judaism, and Israel, history of a people. This, this is such an important series, such an important story to tell, such an important um, theological, historical, spiritual, so many different things, scriptural, typological, moral, economic, political. Uh, this, this goes into so many different aspects of our history as a, as a church and salvation history itself. So now, moreover, it is absolutely at the heart of the current crisis. In fact, at the very heart of it, um, there's a relationship between the Jews and the Novus Ordo. There's a relationship between the Jews and the 1962. In fact, the Latin mass, the Latin mass was influenced by Jews. So, it is a very critical thing to understand. Now, lamentably, there's a great deal of confusion about this topic, um, owing to the fact that it is a heavily censored topic, whether from the Christian side or from the Jewish side. Both sides of, of this question are actually censoring themselves or asking the other side to censor themselves. And there's uh, you know this thing, there's this thing called Jew Catholic Jewish dialogue, but Catholic Jewish dialogue is actually not speaking honestly about what's actually happening, not speaking honestly about all of our history. Um, and that's a problem. And we're going to talk about why that's such a problem in this series. Here's some of the things we're going to be covering. Um the next, so we've got three parts already done. So if you if you sign up, become a patron, you get parts one, two, and three already. Part four is going to be me talking about this, which is what I was into. I was I I would have considered myself converted to this before I became Eastern Orthodox, and before I ultimately became Roman Catholic. Messianic Judaism. It is a modern movement, as as this as this as this says. It's a modern movement with an ancient past, and that is definitely true and it's a it's a complex topic very fascinating topic uh, we'll talk about david stern's jewish new testament commentary um we'll also be talking about um the 
origins of rabbinic Judaism and what that is. People like uh, Neusner. We'll also be talking about this controversial topic, the Jewish revolutionary spirit by E. Michael Jones, as well as I'll definitely have my friend Dr. Maza on to talk about his book, Scholastic and the Jews, get more into detail on that. We'll also talk um, Klinghoffer's book, Why the Jews Rejected Jesus. Um, and we'll be going through the basic history of the Jews. We'll have guests on the show. We'll have Jewish converts on the show talk about um, converting from Judaism. Um, we'll talk about the history of the Jewish people and Judaism and Israel in relation to the church, because there's actually an overlap. I, I chose those terms specifically for this series because there is actually an overlap when we talk about what is Israel, who is Israel. We'll talk about the modern controversies with Benedict XVI. We'll talk about his most recent controversy where he talked about mission to the Jews. We'll talk about the effects of Jews throughout church history in the uh, going into the Middle Ages, the, the often pilloried and misunderstood relationship between Jews and Christians in the so-called mid Middle Ages. Uh, we'll talk about the Jewish ghetto. What is the Jewish ghetto? What is the true history of the Jewish ghetto? What's the history of Jews in Spain? What's the history of the Spanish Inquisition? Uh, what's the history of the Jews in the Dutch Republic? The history of the Jews in the British Empire? Um, in, into modern period, what, what about Shabbat V? What is his history? How does that affect things? What about the modern period, the emancipation of the Jews after 1800? We'll talk about the different parties of the Jews as they were at, at odds with each other and also overlapping with the church and into the modern period and the Second Vatican Council and the creation of the Novus Ordo, Jewish Catholic dialogue, the influence of Jews in modern society after 1800. Um, and these are all critical topics. And I've, of course, we'll talk about the Shoah, the so-called Holocaust and its history and the history of national socialism, Bolshevism, and all the topics that YouTube does not want you to learn about and that we have to keep behind a paywall because of the nature of the topic. Most of the time when people comment on YouTube, it'll be auto-censored if they use the term Jew. And so th this is a, a critical topic for Christians to understand properly with the fullness of truth and the fullness of charity. And that's what we've been about. We, we've been trying to realize by the grace of God, trying to do and trying to embody here at Meaning of Catholic is the full truth and the full charity. And that's what we really want to do in this series the full truth about Jews, Judaism, and Israel, and the full charity. So we'll be talking all about that. So we'll, we'll do about, I mean, I'm going to guess eight to 10 parts. So that'll be uh, yours as a patron. And then you also have access to the Meaning of Catholic Guild, if you'd like to be a part of that. That helps, ex helps us expand Meaning of Catholic. Um, and uh, we I didn't even mention the, the modern state of Israel the nation of Israel and that important history as well, which has uh, a massive effect on geopolitics, um, Christians in the Middle East, uh, Mohammedans, of course. Uh, we'll talk about the origins of the the connections between Pharisaic or rabbinic Judaism and the origins of Mohammedanism or Islam, so-called. So we'll talk about that as well. We'll talk about, oh, here's, uh, I forgot about this book. So we'll talk about the Church of the East and the history of Jewish Christians under St. James the Apostle, which is the book of Acts speaks of. Um, so we're going to get into all those things in this series, which you can be a part of uh, by becoming a patron at any level, $5 a month, $10 a month. Uh, if you can't afford any of that, feel free to contact me if you're still interested in the series and you just can't afford it. Feel free to contact me, meaningofcatholic.com slash contact. You can also go to meaningofcatholic.com and donate. So if, if you prefer not to use Patreon, you can also donate to support our mission to help expand the apostolate. 
and you can also get access to this as well. So go to patreon.com slash meaning of Catholic to get access and you get part one, two, and three immediately. And then part four will be coming. Well, I'll share my own experience of Messianic Judaism and what, what caused me to convert. And uh, so then you'll get uh, four parts and, and the other parts will be on the way. So that's the plan. And that's what we're doing to try to raise money to expand the apostolate. So thanks so much for, for listening and feel free to send me any questions you'd like to have covered in the show and any questions you'd like to investigate. So meaningofcatholic.com slash contact is how you get a hold of me. And um, let me pull up my icon. I guess I don't have it, but uh, so we'll we'll just offer up in our Father um, for if you'll pray with me for uh, the intentions of this apostolate, which are the greater glory of God and the salvation of souls, in particular by means of uniting Catholics against the enemies of Holy Church, the rival schools of Christendom, and this. This question is very much a rival school of Christendom because of the overlapping of the Semitic school of thought, which ends up being adopted by the Syriac Christians. And then it has an overlap with Greek Christianity. And so there's a, a there is actually a, a John Paul II talks about the Greeks and the Latins as the two lungs of the church, but that actually oversimplifies the fact that there's also this whole Semitic Christianity uh, in the Syriac Christians. And not, not to mention the fact that there is this, there's this very Semitic um, soul, the Semitic soul. And that's another thing we'll get into is the ethnic temperament of the Shemites and the sons of Shem. So without uh, any further explanation, we'll, 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 cut it out. And uh, so please donate, help us expand the apostolate. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>